that are not available all right so i talk really fast i believe that's one of the god's gifts for me and um we're quickly going to dive in really really fast really really fast so get your notes ready your introduction ready because when i'm done with my introduction and the um, sign success key for achieving your goals then i'll come on everyone welcome timothy Welcome, Tonya. Welcome, Sai. It's so good to see your face. Please turn on your videos now. Don't make me feel shy. So let's dive in. Let's dive in. So as I said earlier, my name is Arietta Uzechi. Yes. And it's one of the best things I love doing. I love fitness. I believe in God. I believe in fitness. I believe everyone is supposed to live LD. And I currently work with the Fleximum company. That we work with women, but uh, men are welcome. Okay. Since uh, we have a uh, Mr. Kufoshi, <laughs> that's what I like to be called. So we work with, um, no, we are number one African holistic company. We work with women to get them restore themselves back from, you know, from childhood, from bad habits, just restore their body, spirit, and soul. And we work with anyone regardless of, the, of their religion. So I've been working with them just for fitness, but I've not been able to like proclaim like, I'm with Jesus, I love Jesus, but what I'm doing right now is just like an icing on the cake because I'm able to talk about my Jesus at the same time. I still talk about what I love to do best. That is fitness. So let me not bore you up too much with um, who I am um, and what I do. With time, we'll get to know ourselves better. I, like I'm getting to know some people already and I'm so happy for this opportunity. So let's just dive in. If you have your notes, please, you can just, or uh, maybe you watch later. I just want to share with us 10 success key to achieve your goal. You know, in this life, right, that there's everything we achieve in life is goal. Even before you get married, it's a goal for you to that you have set that, okay, after this stage, I'll get married. So there are so many things that we want to do. But today, we're going to check through the farmer's method, how farmers get to get and pluck their fruit or to harvest that thing that they have planted. So we're going to start with a seed. You know, as small as a seed is, Farmers, are you with me? Are you with me? If you're with me, just type seed, seed, and I will know you're with me. Just type seed. God loves us to start small. So the farmers, any farmer that wants to start a project must get a seed. Oh, thank you so much, Ibuku. That you must get a seed. When you get that seed, then you now start looking for where you will plant them. But when you have a seed, the seed, when you see the seed, you are seeing a tree, you are seeing a forest. Because that seed comes from somewhere. The seed came from a fruit. We are the fruits. Our Holy Spirit will give you understanding. Don't worry. I am the fruit. I once had a seed, just like you have a seed. That seed is your goal. So I was once a seed, and I had that seed, and I planted the seed, and I made sure the seed grew. And now I am now a fruit. I'm able to pluck from that seed. So now God loves us to start small. And Whatever you have placed in your heart as a desire, it is God that's placed it there because he wants to answer our prayer. So I said, as I said, we are the fruit. So the first process the fruit gets to is isolation. That's number two. I'm telling you about the test of sex of how to achieve your goal, farmer's method. Number two is isolation. Please help me to type isolation. You know when the farmer goes to get plenty seed and he wants to plant corn? or he wants to plant beans, he will just isolate those ones from the bag of seeds, from the bag of seeds that he wants to plant. Thank you, isolation, yes. So when he plants it, he looks for a fertile ground. So now, right now, you are isolating yourself. I want to tell you that this community that we are right now, Covenant Nation, uh, Health and Fitness Nation, you are isolating yourself. Like you're bringing out yourself from the meaning of every other person that said, I want to lose weight. I want to lose it. Everyone, body wants to lose it. Everybody wants to get healthy, but nobody has that, okay, that time, or okay, let me look for where I will isolate myself. So that's where isolation comes in. You look for a loamy soil. If you have the seed, you look for a loamy soil, a good place. And this is so, so loamy. This soil, this community is so loamy. And whatever we have got, we have decided to do in this group, we will achieve them in Jesus' name. So this is just like a lifestyle. It's not something that you would do like right away. You people are loving yourself on the comment section. Why can't you turn off your video? Let's see your face and let's see your smile. Ibuku, your face is so beautiful. Yes, yes, I know. But just turn on your video. Let's, as that is why it's a Zoom. I would have made a conference call. But I wanted to see your face. And I did all this um, 
try and get something for you people. Okay. So number three is germinate, 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 germinate. Who is the first courageous person to turn? Ooh, Shia is the first. Ooh, I'm so happy to see your face. Good morning. Yay. Thumbs up for you. Um, number three is germinate. That is the number three. Don't hold it off now. Leave it on. Let's just communicate. <laughs> so let's just go. Number three. Yeah, thank you. Tony, I'm waiting for your video. You hear me? Ibuko, I'm waiting for this fight. You don't need to just let's just communicate. Let me see your teeth like that. Yeah, thank you. Number three is germinate. Type in the comment section germinate, 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 germinate. When you plant the seed in and you isolate it into the loamy soil, the seed begins to germinate. And that is what you're also doing here. This is not a fun fair. You have to learn. You have to study. You have to read. And me as a coach, I don't even know it all. This is what I know that I can give to you. But when you study from different sources, you come and meet me. Ah, oh, coach, I learned something new. Can we imp implement it? I said, okay, let's try it. So nobody is know it all. That's why we need to germinate. You need to read courses. You need to read people's testimony. You need to know what they did differently. And that is why we call germinate. And the fourth one is water your seed. Yes, we need to water our seed. You know, we cannot just say, okay, I've joined the group. Or the farmer will say, okay, I've planted and I'm seeing my fruit. Is, my, my seed is germinating a little, little by little. No. He has to water that seed. He has to water it because he knows that it's growing and he needs water. So when you join a community like this, you have to like put yourself into it. That's what they call water it. It's not like maybe you just keep that like other gossip group. Yes, thank you so much. Number four is water the seed. That's when you what you would do. It's not, I've, I've said it before that this healthy lifestyle is not a sprint, it's a marathon. Okay. Yeah. So when you water the seed, is when you, you go out for it. If they give you assignments, do it like it's a project. Thank you, yeah, me. I'm so happy to see you. It's like you're having your money work. You look beautiful. Okay, I just, that's beautiful. So you water your seed. You, you make sure you do your assignments. You make sure you join to the challenges. You make sure you are always into it. Even give yourself one hour and say, let me go see what they are doing in this group. Read messages, read comments, and put yourself into it. Then number five is fertilizer. You know fertilizer, now when you plant, the farmer always look for all these um, feces, all these cow feces to put it around the tree or around the things. Yes, the fertilizer, you have to fertilize your soil. When you fertilize it, you refine, that's what they call refining. You protect your heart from negative people. You use fertilizer to protect the seed so that it will not it will collect more nutrients and then um, grow. As you are right now, there are people that you would tell, like, men, I mean, it is weight, um, weight loss team and everything. They don't do it like this. Weight loss. How many times have you uh, lost weight that, that now you want to be serious? You know, there, there are negative people that would spoil your mind. So you just need us. You just need this group right now. We are going to the same place, the same destination. This is the kind of people you need to listen to. This is the kind of people you need to tell your challenges to. Don't go and tell your challenges to someone that is even envying you that you are trying to get better. You understand what I'm trying to say? If you understand, tell me you understand. Thank you. So you fertilize it. You, you, come, you come to your leader, you come to your coach, you say, coaches, I'm feeling this how it is. All of us, we are getting better. There's no perfect person. Yeah, thank you so much. So the fifth, the sixth, I'm just like trying to summarize and I hope um, you are uh, getting me. God will definitely give you understanding. Number six is cutting off wheat. This, when you are cutting off wheat, you know, someone that wants to try to, you know, cutting off wheat, you know, you are cutting off something that's trying to steal your nutrients. It's like the first one. Negative people, negative vibe. Don't be surprised. Even your husband, yes, your husband can be somebody that maybe he does not believe in elderly living and be like, whoa, give, let's eat cake or oh, let's, let's eat ice cream, you know. But he's doing it out of love. But thank you, you are coming from a better understanding that this is what you want to get. That I was in that shoe. When I was trying to lose weight, when I was trying to keep fit, my husband would tell me, oh, uh, let's take this letter. I said, no, I'm not taking, I'm, I'm trying to eat LD. He'd be like, you just laugh at me and be, you know, teasing me with all that. If I have not weed out all those thoughts and everything, I would have given up and said, oh, I cannot kill myself. Let me join him. You understand? But I knew where I was going. I knew I, this, I need to achieve this thing. 
You know, they say you cannot fight darkness by, by with darkness. You have to turn on the light, then darkness will, went, will go away. Then I turned on the light and I was able to keep up. I was able to look out, I was able to look fit and it's seen the results. Now, even if I get up, I want to do like my exercise, it will join me. You know, I've turned on the light. I didn't fight darkness. So that is how we should be able to cut off weed. You know, anyone that you have, you have passed, you have outgrown, do not feel shy about it. Because there are some people that will be your colleagues, your friends, and they will say, okay, uh, uh, come, let's work out together. Come, but they are now dragging you back. Leave them. Uh, you have outgrown them. Move forward. Step higher. Then the fifth one is time. No farmer will plant a seed right now and expect that that seed would go, go up immediately. You understand? They know the season when that seed is supposed to grow. There was a picture I sent to the group that we need two weeks to start working and before you start seeing it, almost four weeks. Before other people will start seeing it, it's almost 12 weeks. So we, so we have seasons. In three months, once you change your, your lifestyle, you will, see, you will see changes. So it takes time for any seed to produce fruit. Seeds should not be rushed. The day that wait on the Lord does not make haste. If you trust the Lord, you will not make haste. You know that hard work and, and for you to be resilient will definitely give you success. Just like the testimony that Miss C, Mrs. C, C gave just last night, that she was just resilient and she was doing the hard work. And with time, you will see the result if she does not give up. You understand? So your body did not get to where it is today. You have to give it time. And number nine is patience. Oh, I'm keeping it to time. Patience, patience, patience. You can see I talk very fast. It's one of my girls' gifts. Like, I talk very fast. So number nine is patience. Who is typing patience for us? Thank you. And you know when you give it time, the, 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 the farmer does not go up and down and say, hey, I've planted my seed, oh, ah, when is it growing, you know, when is it good? It starts a negative vibe. Or oh, start complaining when you know that definitely that seed must germinate, must grow, and must start bearing fruit. So you cannot go about and be telling people, people will even tell you that, ah, ah, maybe you just plant this seed. Why can't you just give it time? So what this patient is talking about now is for you to wait in good attitude, loving the present, loving your body where you are right now, enjoying it, knowing that the fruits will still come forth, knowing that you will still bear fruit, knowing that you will still get better. So patient is accepting the present with a good attitude. The persistence and you know our culture definitely will not support us or will not even clap for us. They will not motivate us. So our motivation is going to be from inside. You understand? So that's how we need to be patient with good attitude. Even someone is laughing at you and you are skipping and all the fans, or you, you are running, all your laps are going up, up and down together. As in things are not looking all right, but you know where you are going. A good visionary see a finished product. You don't look at what you are doing right now. You look at the finished product. That's why vision boarding is very important. When you have a vision board of where you want to get to, that's where you will just be looking at. You will even look at maybe your uh, maybe a marker hand is flying up and down. You will not even look at it. You just be make sure that you are doing the exercise. You will not get discouraged. You just your eyes will be focused on your vision. So that is number nine. Number ten is pray, pray. There's a Bible verse that says that Paul planted, Apollo watered, but God gave it the increase. You no, know, the Bible says that we can the builders can only build. You understand? If the Lord has not built the house, yes, pray or prayer, yeah, pray to God. Our God is God that answered by fire. Like he answered all our prayer. Every of our little, little, little efforts, he will make sure that he, 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 he glorifies it. Like he put, he crown us with his own glory. That is so amazing. But you, as you take it a step at a time, like today now we have started, don't even think about tomorrow or what you're going to do the next day or what you're going to do on Monday. Don't even like bother yourself about it. Don't worry about it. Just 24 hours, a step at a time, one hour a day. Be like, God, I thank you that you have made me pass 24 hours. Tomorrow is another day we can do this. You know, and I've given us some challenges that we should drink water. By the time you drink three liters of water, you eat enough food. Where will be the space for all these junks and all this soda and everything? There will not be space. You'll be filled up already when you already have that knowledge of, I need water, I need fruits, I need vegetable. You understand? So that is it for the 10 um, successes key a farmer uses to get their results. Hope I tried. If I try, tell me I tried. So. Hope I tried. Hope um, you were able to get value. Okay, just type value, 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 value. 
Thank you for joining, even if I'm the only one seeing my face. Yes, just a value, value, value. So now that you put on to show your face, we must show your face, of course, we are in the second content, which is networking and then bonding. In this network, networking and bonding, we are going to, I'm going to like create a group. We are going to divide ourselves into different groups, subgroups, and that subgroup we are going to have Everyone is going to have a leader. I will do that later in the section. So please, let's start with introduction. Please reintroduce yourself. Just tell us um, your name, okay? Just tell us your, your name and show us your picture. I think that is okay, because some of us have introduced ourselves um, before. Just show us your video and turn on. While we wait for you, so who's going to go first? Who's going to go first? Timothy, are you going to go first? Um, Jola, Yemi, Shayot, Sonia, just say, my name is Sonia. Hello, everyone. Turn off your video. Just give me that. Thank you. I'll be waiting. So in that sub, while I'm waiting, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, you can. <laughs> okay, Pedro, you are welcome. And so nice to see your face. Okay. Okay, who's going next? Remember, we just have um, an hour. I will still have a lot to catch up with. We've seen Pedro, Tonya, Joy. Uh, yeah, me, please. Let's see your face. Let's get familiar with each other because we're going to work with each other. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Jola, for like telling us. All right. All right, who else is not in the meeting? Yeah, me, so guys, nice to see you. All right. All right. Wow, Tonya, thank you. You look so beautiful. Thank you, Snayo. You look so beautiful. Thank right. you. My name is Chayo. I'm here yeah. to be here. Yay. Yeah, happy to meet you. Happy to have you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is for those that are going to watch the record, they will still better see your face. Okay, so let's dive into paradigm shifts. This is where the mindset comes in. When thank you, Ibuku, and I've just been wondering, I wanted to say this, Ibuku would not show me his face, and you just showed your face. So thank you for showing your face. So let's hear your voice. Uh oh. Hi, everyone. I'm Ibuku Amalulu. Okay. Yeah, it's ha I'm happy to be here. <laughs> and we are glad to be here. Yeah, we are glad to have you. Yeah, so we're moving to the number two thing, three thing on the, we are, we are bonded a little, at least for those that want their video, we are bonded. And I will explain the subgroup to us in this in the comment section on WhatsApp. Then the third one is paradigm shifts. Yes, that paradigm shift is about your mindset. The Bible says that, Anybody that believes all things are possible. In this process, we are going to unlearn a lot of things and we are going to relearn and we are going to make sure that we grab all that we are learning. But this one, we're going to talk about how to be flexible with our mindset. You know, when you are flexible, a clay, a clay that is that has water that is flexible is what can be molded. If you are so adding on or adamant on what you have learned from childhood it would soon be easy for you to learn new things. So you have to be flexible and just breathe. Ooh. Breathe in, breathe out, and let go of all that you have learned and say you want to relearn them and you want to bring in new thoughts into your mind. So I want you to type in any like means that you, that you have learned concerning exercise or food. What do you think about food? Or what do you think about exercise? Or what is that thing that you have learned from childhood? You can type it in the comment section. Aisha, yeah, welcome. Yeah, she's here. Aisha, please, are you a Christian or a Muslim? I would like to know. Okay. Yay. Even Elgoma is here. Tali is here. Sorry, I did not even swipe to. The other one, only today is here. Thank you so much for honoring my invitation. So this paradise is what you believe you can do this. It is done already. You know, we are like our father. Our father is the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. So I always go with this, that once my father is the beginner, is the end, that 
Definitely me also, I'm a beginner and I will end everything I start. If I start my marriage, I'm going to end it well. If I start taking care of my children, I'm going to end it well. If I start my master's degree, I'm going to end it perfectly strong. Anything I start my, my fitness goal, I'm going to end it well because I am just like your father. You are welcome, sis. Yeah, we, we, we love you. I know you love us also. You're welcome, yes. It's good to have you here. So you see, your, your, this paradigm shift, what makes you hungry? That is your why. What got me into this fitness journey? What got me into this fitness company? I call myself a fitness educator was because I was angry. I don't like it when just somebody will get married and because you have a baby, babies are lovely. Do not get me wrong. I love babies. I have three of them and number four can come. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm okay. So I have three of them, but babies are wonderful, but it gives me so much pain. When I see beautiful ladies in their wedding gown, get married, give birth, and after a child or two, they become shapeless, they don't have drive, they don't have the, the yeah, they don't have the, the zeal of what they had when they were coming into that marriage. They don't have that, they don't feel, they don't have this body shame. In fact, let me quickly tell you a story. I met one of my friends. He now told me that, ah, that he saw his childhood friend. The, the, the guy told me that he saw his childhood friend. I said, even happy that he did not marry the girl. I said, ah, what happened? He said he wanted to marry the girl, but I thank God I did not marry the girl. I just saw the girl now. That the girl is horrible. That the girl is this, the girl is that. That, thank God. I was just laughing in my mind that, see, even if you marry her, I did not marry her. You can help her achieve a goal to be fit. Fatness is not bad. But not being in fit is hard. It's bad. Because fatness causes fit and fatigue. It causes all those cardiovascular diseases, high blood pressure, diabetes, stroke. It makes you to be so, so, even in your career goal. That's why you see all those people of Fortune CEO, they are very strong and active because they know that they need their body to achieve all those goals or vision that they have written out. So when you have enlightened yourself, you have, you have make sure your body is okay, then your brain can start thinking of where you want to get to. So I believe with this um, paradigm shift, like your mind, believe that you can do it. Believe that I, I I don't like it. All of us that we are here, we are going to be fruits. Believe it or not. I was once a seed. I was I was once in the show of okay, I want to lose it, I want to lose it. But now I'm a fruit. Now I can win millions. I can win women. So many women from our community, we are able to get their goal and they pay heavily for it. We have international women, we have different women that pay heavily for it. All what not that they don't know what to do, they all know what to do, they have the the right resources, they have everything. But what that money is going on for is accountability. That's why I want us to take this accountability group very serious. I will divide us into subgroup and we'll have a leader. I will be there also, but I'll just be like uh, a silent member. I won't talk in your groups, but I'll just be there to observe what you people are doing. Then I will pick a leader for it. Right now, we're going to pick our leaders. Start to be from among those that have dedicated their time to watch this. So when you believe, you have it. The only change can happen. Change can happen when you recognize that you need change. That's number one. You recognize that you need change. That's why you can start seeing change. When you look at yourself and say, oh, I need change. I know what I love about this amazing thing of getting LD is about the legacy you are going to leave. If I start working out, my children start working out, they will not have that mindset that, oh, I need to start working out or because of I need to be fat. Or, no, working out is not about maybe because you are too fat or anything. You just need to keep fit. Then number two, believe you have what it takes. Believe you don't need any external body to help you get what you want. What you have in your hand is enough. Believe you have what it takes to get it and you will get it. Mindset number three is that that reason you need to get it. Like this legacy I'm talking about. And how for you to be the light in your your past? Like you know, we are already receiving a baton. Some people receive a baton from their mother of stroke, some IBP, some baton of diabetes. Now you are not going to leave all those batons to your children or your children' children. You said no. I'm going to stop this this movement of an elderly lineage. I'm going to stop it in my own time. I'm going to pass batons of elderly living. I'm going to be 9900, still running with my grandkids. You understand? So you have to just cancel 
out of that mindset or that it, it is set already. That's a paradigm shift. Even when everyone is talking, eh, mu coke now, drink one coke, it's not harm you. Say no, I know where I am going. I don't want my kids, your grandkids, to come to to come and see me and to be a soda that will offer them. I want to offer them fruit. I want to offer them vegetables. Let them see the essence of living healthy. This cannot be done with just blah blah blah. I can. You cannot just get it with just I'm um, talking blah 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 blah. We need courage. Yes, it's a fearful movement. We need courage. Our culture does not like encourage this. But we need courage, we need to resist, we need to fight back, we need to stand our ground. No, the courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is when there is fear and you're ready to move in spite of fear. Don't listen to that negative voice and say, will you work? I've tried it before, it does not work. Well, this. Just keep on doing it, be persistent and consistent. Um, so we have to focus on some things, to focus on your goals, focus on what you can control. Like me, when my husband was laughing at me when I was trying to get fit and everything, I said, I must get back to that, my shape, before I got married to me. He said, it's not possible. Every woman out there, you must be, you must be, they must know that you have given birth. That's why you're, I said, no, it's not supposed to. So I was just, you see, I focus on my, on my direction. I focus on my goal. I focus on what I can control. I cannot control his lifestyle yet at that time, but I was able to control myself and I was able to control what I can do. So I was just doing it on my own. Then now, he has joined the train. And I'm not, I'm not the one laughing at him that why are you not joining us? Should we see that it's so healthy? So that's why you should focus on where you are going and control and control yourself, what you can control. Learn to control your emotion, learn to master your emotion. Like that, our Missy, those that, that did three hours of vigorous exercises, uh, our emotion will tell her, do not go anywhere tomorrow. Do not, as in the body will fight. The body will tell, don't kill me now, as in just relax. No. So you have to must learn to master your emotion and say, this body, I know I can conquer you. I can bring you up to subjection to the, yes, I'm running out of time. Oh, please, someone to check the time for me. Uh, check the time for me. Let me know where we are. Just check the time. I can't see it anywhere here. If you can see the time, just tell me where we are. Um, if I don't finish up, I'll send the remaining ones to the chat room. Thank you. Can you see the time anyone? Just spend the time to me while I continue talking. So you focus on what you can control. Focus on what you have. Start where you are. 9.30, okay, I just have 10 minutes to go. So and focus on what you have. Thank you. Focus on what you have. You see, you focus on the presence. This is our eyes, it's not our, at our back. Because God does not want us to look at the past. He wants us to focus on the present and the future. So you have done it in the past. Don't, don't worry about that. You are not your mistake. You are not your experiences. You are not who you were. Even today, you are not who you were yesterday because you have received some new form of information. So that is how it is. The number four is physical and online workouts. I will talk more about this in the group. Physical on, um, workout is what you can do by yourself. You go for a walk, you dance, you do things just for 30 minutes. You know what we need? With the knowledge I have with my company, all you need is just 30 minutes of active movement, active movement for four days or three days a week. That is all you need. In fact, if you're in Lagos, you're, you know Lagos is stressful already. Before you walk to one bus stop or the other, if you don't have a car, or before you even leave the traffic, it's stressful already. So if you can do three, um, four days, yes, very achievable. I'm telling you, 30 minutes a day. If you can just do 30 minutes a day, for four days a week, me, I do my Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And sometimes I just feel like doing it. Sometimes you just feel like you want to move. That ginger will just, and the lady will pop in. Please do it. That and the lady does not come all the time. But when it comes, just make sure you use that and the lady very, very well. And about the online workouts, I would, I would always want to teach you how to like move some flexible body, how to stretch. Why people really get tired is because they don't stretch before exercise and they don't stretch after exercise. Before you exercise, there are three steps. You stretch before you start, you exercise. Then after the exercise, you stretch again so that you will not strain your muscle. You understand? So that you will not feel tired. So I will, I will dedicate my time. We'll talk to your, you talk to your accountable leader. Then you'll know when you can join me. I work out 5 a.m. with my paid clients. So if you can just um, work, work it out anyway, work it out. So there are five checks you need to check. You keep your question, because we are going to really, really start very fast. Five to 
that you go to check every day is make sure you drink water, you eat fruit, you work out, and affirmation. Write out this affirmation. Say, I can do it. I can do all this with Friday that's spent in me. I am beautiful. I am valuable. I am who God says I am. So many affirmations that you need. Daily affirmation. Then your smoothie recipe, I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to send some smoothie recipe on how you can maybe, you are, you are bloated, you need to just take water or something or eat fruits. I'll send some recipe to you for some different things, for some skin, for some air. If you want recipe for fruits and everything. So questions, questions, questions. I hope I tried. Questions, 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 questions. You can unmute. Let's dive in. Very, very achievable. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Aisha. I know I'm very fast. Uh, as in I'm very sure of that. I'm very sure. I know I'm fast. So question, question, question. If you have any question, please ask or mute. So by now, you know your current measurement, you know your current weight, you know um, your BP, your, I told everyone that has any problem so that we will know where we are coming from, so that we will not just tell you to do things that you are not able to do. That's why I said you need to private chat me if you have any underlining illness. I have it, I will have it in my record. So even if I'm telling everybody to do this, I will come to your, your inbox and say, you don't do this because of your illness and i know that god has brought you to this place to give you perfect health in jesus name amen should i just say no one has a question no one has a question or you will send it later in the group it has been a successful meeting and i'm so glad that you have joined me and so honored thank you mary thank you Olusade. thank you tolu Oh, yeah, yeah, Paul. Thank you, Jola. Ola, Paul. Thank you, Goma. Thank you, Aisha. Thank you, Timothy. Thank you, Jola. Thank you, um, uh, Olusa. De. Thank you, Tolu. Thank you, Tonya. Thank you, Ibukun. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, Yemi. We are going to know more of ourselves. So, no questions, no questions, no questions. So, what? Do you have any questions? That means I'm a very good lecturer. Yeah, you're welcome, Timothy. Yes. Yes, so no question. So I don't want, if you have any question, I know it's a lot to assimilate and want to ask questions immediately. You can just type it in the comment section later. Okay? And I will definitely respond to it. Thank you so much. Let's um, pray. Let's have our closing prayer. I don't want the Zoom to go off on our faces. Father, we thank you for this wonderful meeting. Yes, I know that your children have received your word, Lord God Almighty. Father, help them to plant it in their hearts. Father, help them to be able to pursue in the name of Jesus. Father, I give you glory, we give you honor because you are the God that starts what you finish. Father, help us, O Lord God Almighty, to finish what we have started, just like you, because you have created us in your image. For in Jesus, for that name, I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. Do we have our notes with us? I want you to have a note, though. This is a serious course we are talking about here. In four minutes' time, this thing will go off. But it, if just okay, for us to be sure that we have our notes, snap it and send to the WhatsApp group. I want to see, no, you don't need to snap what you have written, just snap a book that notes. So only, only, only spirit will know if you are lying or not. So just snap the book. See, I see my own notes, see how long it is. I'm serious about your matter, and everybody's record and everybody's name is here. So you see. So let's, let's, please, let's get our notes and be serious about this. God will definitely help us, give us the strength that we need to get, carry on. So God bless you. You have a lovely, lovely day. And I will send the message for today, right, on our WhatsApp. And um, okay, sorry, I've not chosen our leader. I've not chosen our leader. Is, is everybody still here? About four people has gone. Please, our leaders, who just... Thumbs up if you want to be a leader. I know everybody used to run away from responsibilities. I will choose. Sonia, you're going to be leading one group. Shayo, you're going to be leading another group. Mary, you're going to lead in another group. 
Yeah, me, you bring in another group. Someone should please help me type the names while I'm calling them. Ta Tonya, Sayo, Yemi, and Ibuku. We are going to have four groups and Mary. Five groups. Yes. Yes. Sayo, Ibuku, Mary. So that is it. So I'll give you your people that are going to be under you. Sayo. Okay. You have to, you, okay, delegate, you delegate assistance. Delegate assistance among yourself. You have to, you have to, you have to. Just be the president. Uh, just delegate. You'll be the one to bring us from your group anyway. So thank you for joining. That's why I said you delegate. Uh, everybody's a governor. Even me, I'm a governor. I'm a governor in my own house. Yes, yes, don't worry. We are all governors. Delegate, delegate. Don't worry, it's not be too difficult. Not nothing much is demanded from you. Please, nothing much. I'm here already. It's not, it's okay. It's okay. Just delegate. Delegate. Nothing much. You're not doing anything. Just okay. I'll put you in the group. Then you say, okay, I picked this person to do this. That is all. Yes, that is what you should do. Thank you so much. God bless you. Do have a lovely, lovely day. See you in the chat room. God bless you. Yes, please do delegate. Do have a blessed day ahead. When you get to your group, when you have, have assigned the group to you, then you delegate, no problem. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time, all of you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you.